Hey fam, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nye. And in this video, we're going to talk about creating preset folders inside Lightroom Classic. And I share why it's important a little later. Now bear with me, this video might be a little bit longer than usual. And if you don't care about organizing your preset, this video might not be for you. This started when I tried to make presets for myself and I wanted to organize presets from the ones that I purchased from the ones that Adobe gives you. I thought it would be a pretty straightforward process, but it was not the case. And when I posted this on the Adobe community, it looks like I'm not the only one that's having this issue. And it started when Adobe switched to cloud-based and then your files went from .lr template to a .xmp file. Apparently it caused a whole host of issues. So hopefully Adobe catch win of this and fix it. But let me show you what I am talking about. I already have Lightroom Classic open and with Lightroom Classic, you always want to make sure you're on your develop tab. And on your left hand side here, this is where your presets are. I thought that I could just go hit manage preset. All you can really do is click which one shows up and which one doesn't show up. What I've learned is that these guys that are separated by this line here, they're all called clusters. My goal was to create these presets and have my preset nested on top. As you can see, I'm a big fan of Peter McKenna, so I have some of his presets here and then have Adobe's on the bottom. That is not the case. The reason why I have two is just to simply show you. It doesn't matter if you have the letter A before, it's still going to be nested under this cluster of presets. For whatever reason, I do not know. The only way that you can do this, if you were to create a preset, left it under user preset, it nested on top. The moment I rename this folder, let's just rename it to Nye and hit OK. Notice it gets put into the cluster, which isn't what I want. So the workaround from what I've been able to do is if you go, actually, let me backtrack and let me show you how to do it from the beginning. So as you can see, I've made this preset here, which is untitled. If I go here, show in finder and it's unlimited preset underscore one. If I right click this guy and you just want to open it with any text file. And if you go here, I can just simply type in nine, save it. Close well, that guy. You have to quit your Lightroom and then reopen it back up. And now as you can see, you have nine, its own little cluster versus it being at the top. Just when you thought figured it out. And what I mean by that is let's say if you wanted to create another preset and you wanted to put it into that cluster that you just created and as you can see for whatever reason adobe 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 you can't do it the cluster doesn't show up so you know you'll have to just create the preset and then you'll have to go through that process of just opening the x and dot x m p file and then putting it into the cluster this is the only way that I've found it to work. Why is this important? It's really just about being organized. You can have different clusters of presets for different environments, and you're just future-proofing yourself if you want to, you know, package your presets to sell, and you don't have to do a ton of editing. If you found this video helpful, support the channel by gently tapping that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when I drop a new video. Please help me as I march along on my journey to 1,000 subscribers. Feel free to like and share the channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a ton with the YouTube God. Also, if you like this video, check out this video here. Thanks fam, take care of yourself and I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.